Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Eric Breaker, the next gen Synergy Piston Cup Racer number 5 from Cars 3. Now before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Eric Breaker is a next gen Piston Cup Racer who is sponsored by Synergy and bears the number 5. He shares the same body as Danny Suarez. In 2016, he had replaced the previous Synergy racer, Lane Locke, who shares the same body as Brick Yardley, and in 2017, he was one of the racers to attend the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway of 2017 possibly February, since there was snow in the background in the desert in the background back in Radiator Springs. Speaking of Lane Locke, Lane Locke is, a, is an XL Fission EA Piston Cup racer that shares the same number and sponsor as Eric Breaker, and, and he shares the same body as Brick Yardley, in 2017, he was only released in a five-pack with Chick Hicks with Headset, Natalie Certain, Cars 3 Maria Clutchburn, and Cars 3 Ponchi Wipeout. And since then, he has become extremely, extremely, very, very, very rare. So, I hope for Lane Locke to get re-released as a regular single. Do you wish and hope for that as well? Let me know what you think. Back and now, anyhow, back to Eric Breaker. During his diecast releases, he was released in a two-pack three times. I mean, numer I mean, numerous of times. I mean, his first release in a two-pack was with Spiky Phillips in 2018. And in another two, and then twice or thrice, then in a in another two pack with Barry De Pedal and Ryan Inside Laney, and was also released in a Piston Cup Race Eleven pack like, as part of the Blue Desert series and as a regular single. Anyhow. Without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his grumpy, determined facial expression, his headlights and grill, and a the Synergy logo, and the yellow lining underneath, and the exhaust pipes, and the number 5, and a G, and the gas cap, and the Piston Cub, a few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cub, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Sinner G, and an arrow underneath to indicate a pity to lift him up, and the green rims on the next gen Blackwall Lightyear tires, and number five on the top, and the, the Sinner G logo on the spoiler, and the taillights, and a number five, and a G, and the rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie. And now let's pull up some of the other next gen racers that share his body mold. We have Danny Suarez, Cam Spinner, Michael Rodor, Kurt, Richie Gunzit. Barry DePedal. Paul Conrad, Herb Kerbler, Conrad Camber, and Steve Slick LePage. And for some of the other racers that share his number, we've got Dr. Damage, Miguel Camino, 
and I'll better put Miguel Camino over there because I'm running out of room on the left side. And uh, finally, El Chupacabra. And I'm still hoping for the Plains characters to return on the Cars on the Road series on Disney+. Plus. Let me... Do you hope for that, too? But other than that, what do you think? Which next-gen racer sharing Eric Breaker's body mold is your favorite? And which racer number five is your favorite also? And do you wish for Lane Lock to get re-released as a regular single? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!